So we're, car- <coughs> so we're currently here in Litchfield, Illinois. Um, they don't have Texas-shaped waffles. Whatever, right? We're in Illinois. Maybe gun-shaped. Grab a hotel. That's all they have are the waffles. Right. It's okay. Go ahead, Larry. So we're going to the convention center whenever Larry's ready. <coughs> oh, you're here. Just talk, talking to myself. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Being able to rub two pennies together to their name to come out multi-million. Day I get up, I do my walk. That's grocery day. I go out and get groceries. Wednesday is the day I reserve for doctors appointments. Well, Thursday, I'm tired. I got to rest that day. It's a lot of people here. Um, apparently, this is Virginia. It's all about Texas, though. Forget Virginia. Today, we're going to bring our colors in. Would everybody please stand? Silence your phones. Remove your caps. Mr. Bob Ramsey, would you come on up? Bob's going to lead us in the uh, Star Spangled Banner, and he's got a better singing voice than I do. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly. Yeah. That's good. Thank you, Bob. Please stay standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. CEO, the guy that started the whole thing. Wow. Almost one year ago, at opening ceremony for the Wingding Rally, I watched in disbelief as Paul and Shirley announced that after more than 45 years, the Goldwing Road Riders Association was shutting down for good. I was stunned, as were most of the other members in attendance. By the end of Wingding, however, I was on a mission to replace the GWRA and Winged Rider and the Winged Rider Rally. Fast forward to today, and I think we are well on our way to making that vision a reality. None of this, however, would have been possible without all of you who had the confidence in me to put your money down and become members of Wing Rider. Our executive vice presidents, Jer Goodman and Bob Ramsey, along with our state and regional directors, have worked tirelessly to lift Wing Rider from the ashes of the once proud GWRRA. I want to now introduce all of you to Wing Rider executive vice presidents, Jer Goodman and Bob Ramsey. on the edge of your seats because you're interested and not because you're getting ready to escape. <laughs> but y'all wanted me to come up here and talk about my role as uh, do that. But first, I want to talk about something else. You know, everybody uh, knows about the uh, announcement that was made uh, last year that GWRRA was shutting down. Uh, many of you were in that crowd and heard that shocking announcement. But there was one person that decided right then 
that something had to be done to keep this spirit alive, to keep these rallies going, to keep the magazine going, to keep the fellowship going, and to keep all the good things that GWRRA had. And that man was John Lazzaroni, right there. Stand, John. Thank you. Thank you. I was the a member stuff. of GWRRA. Uh, many of you were members long before me. I first joined in 1999. And I wasn't at the last wing day and don't remember uh, when or where I heard the GWRRA was shutting down. But that announcement went across the United States faster than any coronavirus. <laughs> it, uh, if we. Uh, started hearing about this new organization and at first i'm thinking okay who is wing d rider <laughs> how many of you still call it wing d rider how many of you heard it called wing d rider <laughs> and then it wasn't too long after that i learned that that's not the way you say it wing rider but i've still got a member in my organization that calls it wing d rider <laughs> i keep correcting but I knew the name John Lazzaroni because I've been a longtime customer of uh, J&M, and I got the magazines in the mail. Uh, J&M used to send magazines out, uh, but I trusted the name. I, I heard the enthusiasm that uh, this man uh, put forth, so I, I trusted it. I, I researched Wayne Grider. And so I started checking on Facebook to uh, see if there was a Facebook page, Wayne Grider. There was not. He had not yet secured that name, Wayne Grider, so I went ahead and locked it down. So then I contacted John and said, John, I've got, you don't know me, but I've locked down the name Wayne Grider. So he's probably thinking, okay, what's this guy want? <laughs> and I told him, I said, I don't want a thing. I, I just want to make sure that, uh, you know, I, I trust your name. I, I want you to have the, the tools that, uh, that you need. And I don't want a thing for it. So he said, okay, he, will you stay on board and, and manage the group? I said I would. Then uh, Jerry and Sherry came on board. Uh, with the with the Facebook group, but that's pretty much where uh, we started out. Then uh, John came along and said, "Hey, I need some vice presidents." He brought Jerry and I on board as the vice presidents, and Jerry has has got the membership, and I've got vendors. So that's pretty much uh, where we stand with uh, uh, what the vice presidents do. But. When we were recruiting vendors, uh, we were had, we had an uphill battle. We started five months out saying, hey, we've got a rally in five months. And these vendors were saying that's not enough time. Uh, some of them. But now we've got a good lineup of vendors here now. You've already been there visiting some of the vendors. Be sure you support our vendors. They'll be back next year. They'll tell their other vendor friends and There'll be more vendors here next year at the next rally. And talking about next year, does anybody know where the rally's going to be next year? Next year's rally? Here. Oh, it is June the 26th through June the 29th of next year, right here in Litchfield, Illinois, right here at the House Cycles. And there's some great logic behind that. Uh, we'll be able to gauge exactly how big this rally is going to get. Uh, and next year, we'll uh, really lock it down. <coughs> but uh, that's about all I had. Jerry? Ooh. How are y'all doing? Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like the all y'all outweigh the used guys. Sorry, I'm all about you guys. But first things first, I want to introduce my wife, Sherry, who does a lot of the work. You know, I got to take a moment 
And there's been a lot of accolades thrown at John, and I, I really want to thank him too. For a lot of different reasons. I mean, not only did he step up and create Wing Briar, he has brought a quality product from a little plastic membership card right on up to Wing the Rider magazine. He has done. And I really do view us as a quality organization. He has structured it in a way that you do what you want to do to make you happy. You ride your ride. We do not tell you what you can and cannot do. Among the team, we joke. Our rules are, there are no rules. Go out, have fun. Hopefully you want to belong to Wing Rider. Have a national affiliation. I think that's very important. Hopefully you will too. But again, you kind of govern yourself. And to give you an idea about our structure, I have two directors. I have one at Director East, of the Mississippi River, one west of the Mississippi River. That's my entire team. And our sole role is to support you, not micromanage you, we're there if you need us. And I want to start out with introducing my director from the east, well known, been around for years, Tom and Renee Wozniak, come on down. I gotta wait for the better half to get up here. Wait, you're supposed to stand behind me, put your hand back here. Stand behind me, put your hand back here. Okay, now I do exactly what she says and what she tells me to say. You're the ventriloquist demo. These are all the people from the east. Thank you. talk about the important side. One, one more thing. All of you out there remember what was said before. We're here to support you guys. If there's anything you need, we're an email or a phone call away. And we'll be here at this rally, stop by and talk to us, and I'll be glad to talk with you and especially share you my hours left to retirement. <laughs> By the way, Tom, I'm not going to forget when you retire either. <laughs> Just so you know. So I'm doing that same countdown with you. One thing I neglected to mention, we have members in every state, with the exception of Hawaii. So if anybody is moving to Hawaii, please let me know so I can stand up here and tell you we have members in all states. And it's absolutely fantastic. And when I saw all of you stand up, Representing oh, east of the street, Mississippi. I, I'm surprised when I said you guys, you didn't react. <laughs> Maybe you just <laughs> don't Jersey. speak Joyzy uh, like I do. I don't know. West of the Mississippi, our director, well known motorcyclist throughout the motorcycling community, known far and abroad. Big hand, let's bring up Jack Wagner. <laughs> I thought he found somebody else. <laughs> Morning, everybody. You know, they told me I had five minutes. You know, I'm from Oklahoma, and those of you that know me, I can't say good morning in five minutes. First off, I want to echo everything that everybody has said about John stepping up and doing everything that he's done to bring us together. But so far, there's been one thing that, you know, a year ago, we all got gut punched. We all had a decision that we had to make. There were multiple choices to be made. And I want to say thank you to everybody in this room for making the right decision to come to Wing Rider. Because we're going to be around a long time. You know, I'm uh, representing west of the Mississippi. And let's start this thing off right. Uh, those that are from west of the Mississippi, stand up and make some noise. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Yeah. 
I have that one. Yeah. You like my member number? I like that. <laughs> That's so odd. Don't feel like you buy a lottery ticket. No. <laughs> no, I requested that number, so I guess. Oh, okay. I Good for you. I guess. You know, playing the, the demographic game, which is a fancy name, way to say, you know, let's find out about y'all. <laughs> if you were not previously a member of GWRRA, is there anybody who could stand up? <laughs> if you did not previously participate with a GWRA chapter or don't really like to participate with a chapter. I mean, seriously, there's a lot of people that they like the, the idea of the motorcycle association, they like the rallies, but they really prefer just to ride by themselves. If you're one of those people, I'm not trying to embarrass you, but stand up. I said there was some method of my madness. And the idea behind all of that is that we want everybody. We don't care what you ride. I don't care if you're riding a Schwinn if you could keep up. <laughs> <laughs> As we are, that you're here, have a wonderful time at this event. Thank you for being part of this association and thank you for supporting So the winged rally is done. No, I'm just kidding, the open, opening ceremony is done. Yeah, but the, front door. Let's the important part of these rallies. Now let's go ride some bikes. Yeah, I don't see a lot of uh, brand-specific bikes here, which is great. Hey, did you get my text from Danny? Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Long time no see. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you, Danny? Sir. Dennis. Again. Again. Yeah, that's pretty usual. <laughs> what are you guys doing now? Going over there and get a parking spot before oh. all these damn bikes get over there. Yeah, fucking assholes. Right? <laughs> see you guys. Alright. So yeah, back to it. Uh, lots of gold wings. Um, every make, every every year they probably have an Aspen Cade, whatever the... Uh, that's that's above my pay grade. I don't know about the old bikes, but... You know that part yeah. where he said recruit one, one member? Uh-huh. You need to recruit about 2,000. I'm trying. Your age. <laughs> I'm trying. I got a YouTube channel and all that stuff. So. Right. so, whose bike is this? Is this you guys? No, uh, we're over here. Oh. So. You have to take a picture of our bike. We're unique. Give me two seconds. I'll go over there. So, whoever's watching this, if they come out with a brand new bike that color, or there's a different color, it's like actual purple. Sign me up. Just put my deposit on it already, okay? Because I got a blue one now but I'll sell mine for a purple one. Here we go, the older bikes. This lady was saying her bike is unique. Let's see. Where's the unique bike at? Okay. Fancy, fancy. Yeah. Dang, really fancy. Yeah. That's cool. This is an 03 with a 13 trike kit. That's cool. But it's on your YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These people are crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's cool. The guy that did it is, is here. Yeah. He's done Florida. Wow. What, like, do you ever worry, like, that you're gonna scratch off whatever this is, or does that come off, or? No. Damn. That's in the paint. Damn, that's cool. Yeah. It's like a skin. Wow. That's cool, it looks good. Thank you. There's a lady here, uh, she has, it's a black bike, but with, like, purple, the whole setup is all purple. And she had the same stuff done through the same guy, and it's like, oh, it looks cool, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah. We'll probably run into her then. Oh, yeah. Well, there's their bike. They're still here somewhere. We lost our friends. Uh oh. It oh, happens. No. Enjoy your uh, rally. Thanks. You too. Here's this bike. I wish I could get this color. Just kidding. I already have it. We've got a badass over here. Um. 
but yeah. And the Can Am. So I'm over here. I'm trying to see if I can get a bag that goes on the back of my bike. Um, it's kind of hard to find it. So. <laughs> so over here. Larry, what's up, Larry? I'm sorry. I don't know if you want to be in here. But um, we're here looking at stuff. Um, if you didn't get to come to the rally, you missed out. This, this was hyped up to be the first rally. You still got time. You still got time, yeah. Look at this. My friends are all at the restaurant. I'm not going to the restaurant like this. <laughs> <laughs> but we knew it was coming, so it's all my fault. I kind of want to open the door. Let's see. No, they have more locked. We've got some window blinds. We've already been told you're going to Saigon or Cameron. Oh, yeah. I it's raining. Look at it. Somebody's getting a free car wash, looks yeah. like. <laughs> this is all pre-edit, but I don't know how much stuff I actually made so far of today. So it might be a slow video or like a short video. Currently it is 1.32 and we're having lunch. So let's do it. All right, we just had lunch here at Denny's. Very original, I know. But we had lunch. Now it's time to go back and do something else. Woo woo! What'd you do? I think the spring sprung. That will happen. When I go to Paul's, you know, he, he had hell. He's got a dozen of them there because he triked out bikes, so he's got all the takeoffs. I need to put another spring. I started noticing it. Is I it put falling? it on the center stand. All, it doesn't fall going down the road, but when I take it off in the morning and then take off, it hit. I'm like, how come that didn't Yeah. Happen? Really far. <laughs>
Ask that guy if he wants his picture before we leave. You want your picture before we head out? You said no, right? Yeah, I'll pass. You'll pass? Okay. I like the color. What is that, purple? What's that? Is that purple? They call it magenta. I call it purple. I always tell people, if they make the new bike in that color, sign me up, baby, because I like that color. I probably have to get that, too. I those put on. Those what? Oh, the LEDs. Sorry. That's cool. For days like today when I was riding in the rain. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wow. That's well, a nice bike and nice color, so. We only made it in one year. Wow. They made it, they just color on 95 and 96 and a 1500 and uh, 04 and 1800. Wow. I'm right behind you. Well, let's do it. a little not a conjoined twin but like a little i'll park next door yeah i always see people they get on the bike like this and it feels weird like to get on yeah like, we're some big people, we're not playing now, around. Well, now with the passenger, that is the way to get on it. You put the floorboard down and they stand on that and step right. Mm. We're gonna go to Dairy Queen. Yeah, yeah. Two would you lights, like to go with us? Two lights that way. After his ride, I'd be going to bed. He'd beat up. He'll get you a drink and call it a day, huh? We know we're at the right place, all the gold wings. Right behind you, Larry. Yep, that's good. As long as you got room. What if we like had a bike night at Dairy Queen and we parked our gold wings? What are you saying? In a single spot. Has that happened before? So I just want to say, this is how you can tell we're at a Goldwing rally, okay? Look where we're at, Dairy Queen. Look how many bikes. Boom, 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 boom. And look at these guys. Whole bunch of them. All for, all for uh, Dairy Queen. So, you know. Somebody said something about you Somebody said that's what you do. Do you have a jacket? 
Who's the, who's the one that said something about the YouTube? That... Somebody said something about YouTube. Because I met you earlier. Yeah, do you want a patch? I have these custom made. Uh, yeah. It's sure. F6B Adventures. Yeah, it's the YouTube thing that I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got a few patches on. That's all your friends. So this cut, um, what ended up happening was me and um, VZ ended up going to the town square, seeing what it was about. Then we went to go uh, buy some drinks, and we drank some drinks next to the hotel, had some fun, talked to some friends, all that fun stuff. Um, be ready for part three. It's coming out, baby.